um just like a few ingredients here and there which might just be like the herbs and stuff but other than that everything else would be the same way that you would make lambasos with uh, chorizo y papa and uh, i can't i'm gonna make that today so if you would like to see a recipe um then that'd be nice if you came and saw mine the only difference that I do is I use a different type of bread than the typical bread that is used for bambasos. Other than that, if you're okay with that, then you're more than welcome to stay in my recipe. Chorizo, but I'm going to be using pork, pork al pastor, so delicious, okay, so this is the style, the type of chorizo I'm using, okay, very, very delicious, okay, I've only seen it in Cacique so far, and they do sell it in Walmart, but I don't know what Walmart, I don't know, the Walmart I go to, they do sell it, okay, I will be using queso fresco, it really doesn't matter, like, what type of cheese you use, as long as, like, it crumbles, uh, I would not use parmesan though. It doesn't go well with parmesan, but it would go well like with queso cremoso. Queso, queso cremoso, okay? Um, crumbling cheese, you see? Um, but I really like this flavor. I like this name brand, okay? Um, I will be using avocado, okay? Some people don't um, tarnish or top their bambasos with avocado, but I do, okay? Now, for me, it's a, it's a must, 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 must to use gold potatoes, okay? Like, if you tell me, should I buy the rusted potatoes, mm, for me personally, I would say no, okay? But that's just me personally, okay? Um, other people, they will use rusted potatoes. I don't really like the texture. I really, really, like, I'm just obsessed with these potatoes and... That's it, they're my go-to potatoes. And if I'm going to eat potatoes, it has to be gold potatoes. Other than that, I just, I can't, okay? Unless they're french fries, okay? Because. green when they're um, ripe and then when they're sun dried they become red and bla blackish red okay? they're so good it's kind of like raisins you know they're like green and then you sun dry them they change the color it smells so good it smells like sweet so very 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 sweet okay so these are not spicy at all okay it's not spicy no, this is not spicy. Supposedly the uh, California chile is supposed to be like a similar one to this, only that California chile is not spicy and this one's supposed to be spicy, but it's not spicy to me. Like this isn't spicy to me. Okay, but that's just me. I understand that some people can handle some heat and some others cannot. It's just the taste buds or whatever they got used to, right, growing up. So everybody's taste buds are different. Okay, I understand that too. Okay. Right side. Right side. Just, you know, so you can see. So yeah, obviously you're going to be using garlic and onion and some spices, okay, that I haven't brought out from my pantry. But other than that, I think we're set to go and we can start cooking. If you're like watching me and you're like, oh, this is just another lady trying to get like YouTube points and YouTube views and she doesn't understand what she's doing. No, yeah, I understand what I'm doing. Okay, I understand a lot of a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets to cooking. A lot of people don't realize, okay? And um, it's very important to, you know, follow some very important steps. Okay, you can't, like, you cannot just skip, like, the onion, the garlic, okay? You can't skip those steps, okay? You can't skip, like, taking out the stem. It's very, very different. It's very important not to cook the shit with the stem, okay? Because it will change the flavor, okay? Of your sazon, okay? And let me see. 
gotta do it and then you gotta like rinse it you know before you cook it uh because if you don't rinse what's inside sometimes if you don't rinse sometimes what is inside sometimes you'll see more That will definitely uh, mm, you see how clean it is on the inside. But you you still want to rinse it, but like I said, just don't get lazy to just like rinse it like on the outside. It's like they can be mold inside sometimes. Okay, not all the time. Okay. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking out the seeds and the stems. Approximately 10 to 12 chile guajillos and approximately like 4 to 3 pasilla anchos, chile pasilla anchos. Just drying them, okay. okay. Use whatever um, oil you have, uh, avocado oil, whatever, peanut oil, okay, or corn oil, safflower flour oil. I'm, I'm heating up the oil right now. I'm going to cook the potato like probably medium. High heat only because I also you have to cook this very well. Okay, you cannot leave this raw, it has to be well done. You have to cook this well done. Chorizo with made with premium cuts. You have to cut, you have to cook the, the chorizo very well done. Okay, so these are probably like the premium. The, the sides are like one centimeter each okay so um the dice the potatoes are diced very small and that's how you want to do it because when you're biting it you want the potato to just you want to easily like eat the potato okay because imagine like the bread stuffing i mean i personally take some of the bread stuffing off of the bread so that everything is easy to eat. Okay, I don't want a very thick bambaso. I don't know, like to me, it's just very hard to eat that way. So, uh, what is a bambaso? Bambaso is like a Mexican sloppy joe, okay? Or the, you know, like, I guess you can say it's, um, if, if I had to describe it, it would be like a sloppy joe, but the, Mex the Mexican version. Why? Because you are getting your hands dirty when you're eating the bambasu and it's very, very good, okay? You would think, honestly, like, you would think it's not good by the way it looks, but once you take a bite, like, you realize it's so delicious. It's the same thing as a sloppy joe, like, you know, you can, like, you know, like, it's like, um, you judge the food by its cover, right? It doesn't look good. A sloppy joe doesn't look good. To me, it just looks very sloppy. That's what a bambaso is too. It's like very sloppy, but it's delicious, okay? Once you take a bite from it. Let it, let it boil more than five minutes. 
Okay, I'm just gonna stir it, make sure all the chiles are cooked. Okay. I'm gonna leave it in there for another five minutes. So it's been like probably, yeah, like I guess let it cook for a total of maybe like 15 or 20 minutes until you see like the chile is soft. So you see like it changes color, like the hair is dark, that's dry. All right, there it's cooked. Okay. So now you have to cook this very very well. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to fry it. Okay, so this is ready. It's ready. Ha, ha, ha. 